Everything's way easier than juggling. Welcome back. In honor of the fact that this is the last workshop in May, we're gonna make drinks. Tequila drinks, to be specific. If you're not already catching on the fact that there's tequila and it's happening on a Tuesday, we're doing Taco Tuesday. Let's cover the important ingredients first. You're gonna need some tequila. You're also going to need some kind of orange liqueur. Personally, I like to use Cointreau. You can also use Triple Sec. I just don't think it's as good. Let's remember that making cocktails is the same as making food. Your cocktail quality is as good as the quality of your ingredients. Don't go buying the cheapest tequila on the shelf. You will get a hangover and you are not allowed to blame me for that. Of course, no pressure to drink. However, if you want to join us, I'm going to be teaching you how to make the best margarita that I know how. What's really important with this is that you have limes and that they're juicy. A lime that looks like this, you can tell the skin is pretty smooth versus a lime that looks like this, it's more bumpy. The smooth one has a lot more give. It's going to be juicier. So go buy yourself a few juicy limes. Another crucial bit to making a really bang up margarita is that you have a zester of some kind. This is what I will be using, and if you don't have that, then go ahead and use the small side on a cheese grater. This one, not this one that we often think is a zester. It's not, it's useful for nothing. If you want to turn this meal into a vegetarian or vegan option, that's on the table, so listen up. You're going to be learning spice mix dry rubs, how to make your own epic salsa, how to pan fry fish with the dry rub. If you don't like fish, you can pan fry chicken. If you don't eat either of those, you can have a party with some dry rub tofu. In the ingredient write-up, I will give you some pro tips on how to shop for good quality fish. I highly recommend using corn tortillas. What I wouldn't buy is the old El Paso brand of wheat tortillas that you find on the shelf. God knows what is in those that makes them shelf stable and never go moldy, but I'd rather you don't eat it. Everything you need to know for how to join this workshop is linked below the video. So what that means is if you're on a laptop, click show more. If you are on a phone, you can click the down arrow on the YouTube app. If you don't have Zoom, download Zoom. It's a pretty straightforward app. A little bit different this week. There are two different registrations. There are links for the Dinner East and Dinner West workshops. Register for the one that you plan to attend. The link that you need to access the workshop will be in your inbox and you can just click it and join it when the workshop time happens. The payment and the registration are not at all connected. You can pay before or after the workshop and we're doing payment by donation. So whatever you feel it's worth, whatever you can pay, that's how it's rolling for now, thank you. This is the last official workshop in May. I haven't made a decision yet on what's gonna go on for June. Some workshops will continue, but we'll see how it all rolls out. So I hope you can join for this last mega party of Taco Tuesday. If you want to stay posted on when future workshops are happening, there's a mailing list that you can subscribe to. I promise I don't spam you a whole bunch of crap. I have social media of all kinds, or you can just email me. I can promise you by the end of this workshop, you'll know how to make an awesome margarita, awesome salsa, and awesome guacamole. I cannot promise that I'll ever